An ancient common law right is that a person must not be imprisoned other than by force of law. Any prisoner is entitled to come before the court to have the lawfulness of their detention determined. This right is 850 years old. Clause 4 of the Assizes of Clarendon, 1166, read that if the sheriffs arrested a robber or a thief, the sheriffs shall send word to the nearest justice through some intelligent man that they have taken such men, and the justices shall send back word to the sheriffs where they wish those men to be brought before them, and the sheriffs shall bring them before the justices. The right of a detained person to come before the courts later became the writ of habeas corpus, which loosely translates to bring the body of the person before us. Fast forward to the year 2000. Ahmed al Kateb is Palestinian. In 1967, in the Six-Day War, Israel took control of the Palestinian territories. Palestinian refugees fled into neighbouring countries, where many of them remain. Mr al Kateb was born in a refugee camp in Kuwait in 1976. Mr al Kateb was not a Kuwaiti citizen because neither of his parents were Kuwaiti. He wasn't a citizen of any other country either. He was stateless. In 2000, he left Kuwait and ended up as a boat arrival in Australia. The Immigration Department determined that he was not entitled to a humanitarian visa and he was held in immigration detention pending return to his country of origin. Can you see the problem? He had no country of origin. He was not a citizen of anywhere. His detention would therefore be permanent. He challenged this in the High Court, seeking orders in the nature of habeas corpus for his release. The High Court found that habeas corpus was still available. Chief Justice Gleeson said, The remedy of habeas corpus is a basic protection of liberty, and its scope is broad and flexible. This, the greatest and oldest of all the prerogative writs, is quite capable of adapting itself to the circumstances of the times. The court found, however, by four to three that the government was entitled to permanently detain people in Mr al circumstances. He lost the case, but the following year he received a bridging visa and in 2007 he became a permanent resident of Australia. Mm-hmm.